here's the deal. When it comes to golf instruction and working with instructors, I totally struggle. I don't like it for the most part because I've had such um, bad experiences really from the get-go of my golf career. And what I want to discuss here is what is the best way to take a lesson? How should you go about doing it? How do you get the most for your buck? Because a lot of us are, look, I, a lot of people go to YouTube for instruction and that's fantastic. And I think it's a great way to learn a lot of different things and to develop and hone your swing on your own. I do also believe that instruction in the right way, personalized instruction can work. So what happened was, was my very first experience with golf instruction was uh, when I first started, I was 18 years old. My grandfather gave me some money to take uh, a few lessons. And so I went to uh, get a lesson from a PGA professional and I was 18 years old sitting uh, I think uh, seven iron, eight iron. And the first thing I said was, hey, how far, did the, we were hitting balls, right? And I'm like, how far did the pros hit it? He's like, oh, don't, don't worry about that. I'm like, all right, look, like you could answer the question. Like, do you not know or you don't want me to know? What's the problem of, of telling me? So I was kept asking, like, well, how far do they hit it? How far do they hit it? He's like, look, you're, you're never going to hit it as far as the pros. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, and then I was like, well, why, why can't I hit it as far as them? And then he, he's kind of frustrated. And I don't know why he's frustrated, by the way, I'm paying for your time. So it doesn't matter what I ask. Like, I, I, I got your time. If I want to sit there and have a picnic with you, I'm paying for it. Like, why can't we do that? Like, if you don't want to coach me, just tell me. Uh, I'll give my money to somebody else, my grandfather's money. So he uh, finally you know, says like, look, they, they're playing when they're little kids, like eight, nine, 10 years old. You, you're 18. They're, you're never going to hit it that far. You're never going to hit it. Like, don't worry about it. So, uh, I, I was pretty discouraged from that point on, mainly because I'm thinking, well, look, Jack Nicholas started when he was 10 and I'm 18. So that's eight years, but from 10 to 11, 12, 13, 14, He's still growing. He's probably not swinging full speed. He's not full size, not full strength. I'm kind of 18. I'm pretty much full strength. So I can swing it faster. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I could swing the club faster now than when Jack Nicholas was 10. So like, I, I just didn't understand like why we couldn't get my full strength body swinging it as fast as a 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year old kid. It didn't make sense to me. And he wouldn't explain it. So uh, needless to say, I never went back to him. And I did not go take a lesson for many, many years after that. And then when I learned how to play golf, I just did it a different way. I did it the only way I knew how to do it, which was based on other sports I played. So with, let's say, wrestling, what you would do there was you would obviously train and condition like hardcore to you like basically puked your guts out and then what you would do would um would be you would learn a move for a few minutes and then go do that move and the coach would cruise around and help you out well the same thing applied in football we would do certain drills and you'd go around and do a drill do a drill whatever it's hopping through bungee cords and things like that so you would do all different things and uh the coaches were coming around working with pods and groups of people and you would do that same with soccer you would go through the cones go through the cones do back and forth different things so every sport i had played and done growing up you kind of learned it a certain way but then when it came to golf it was totally different like all of a sudden it was me and a coach for let's say an hour and you're analyzing and working on my swing in a way where um i it, you know, it just was different than every other sport I ever played. So that was a little bit challenging because it was constant, do this, do this, do this, do this. So that never really worked for me and I didn't do it until much later I started taking kind of formalized lessons again. And again, 
I even went to two different people at the same time who taught very different. And because I wanted to see like, what, why was one telling me to do this? Like, don't use my hands and the takeaway and do it. And he taught a very specific way. And the other guy was like, set your wrists real quick. And neither method worked. I couldn't get any consistency, maybe because I was doing both at kind of the same time. One week I go to one, the other week I go to the other, but they never really taught me. They just taught kind of swing method. And so that I never really liked that anyways. So fast forward many years later, we're, we're doing the YouTube thing. And I'm like, let me, let me just teach the way I taught my kids, which was very like drill based, do a three foot circle, do a six foot circle, do a 10 foot circle. And I'll move around from kid to kid and help them out. And they will, I'll give them a, a little bit of instruction and then they go and do their thing on their own for a long, a little bit of time and then come back and like, all right, tweak this, tweak this, go. You got another 10, 15 minutes on your own. And it really worked because what they did was they would do something and focus on it for like 10 to 15 minutes. And then I would come back and I'd give them, I'd add to it very similarly to what we did in wrestling where you would learn uh, move and then you would add to it you would add the next piece. Let's say you're doing counter and you're like, okay, you're countering this move and then they do that. Okay, then you got to counter that move and you would go on and on and on and on. And that's what I do with golf. I would just kind of hone, okay, good. Work on this, work on that. Just very subtle little tweaks and then you would just drill it for a long period of time or 10 to 15 minutes and then we'd move on and then, but you're hitting balls for you know, two, three hours, which is great, a lot of hitting. So that's what I love. Now, so here today, what we did was we went to the Hay Golf Course, little par three course here at Pebble Beach, designed by Tiger Woods, I believe in 2001. Longest hole is like 120 yards, 40 yards to like 120, like it's spectacular. And you're hitting all these shots that you should hit that you never practice, but you shouldn't actually have a 47 yarder on the golf course unless you kind of messed yourself up, but whatever, it's a great way to get touch and feel short pitch and putt stuff it's fantastic and then what we did was after we played there our group went to the range and we had some instruction from three different stations we did putting short game and hitting and it got me back to what i did when i was learning the game myself and te really teaching myself in that um exact same type of method and i never really thought about it too much like what exactly did I do like I knew what I did and how I instructed in terms of like 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 other sports like wrestling but anytime I took a lesson it was never structured like it was today so taking a lesson the way we did it today took me back to my roots and it made me think and realize like this is the essence of of instruction and what really truly works the best for people because not only did I gain a lot today I saw a lot of other people in our group of let's say 30 people really grow more rapidly than I've ever seen people gain uh, experience that fast that many people that quickly and here's what we did we my group started in putting so the pro at, here at Pebble Beach, he gave us all some thoughts on putting. And so we're like, cool. And it was really interesting. Now, if you do that on YouTube, you're going to fall asleep because it's kind of boring. But when you're in person, it's a little more, uh, let's say, engaging. But then he has each one of us putt. And so we're all staring at this guy putting. What's he doing? And then we talk about it for just a, couple, a minute or two, right? And then he helps him out and tells him like, hey, this is what you do, this is, and then you can go and practice on your own. And then we all went through, and even me, you know, like, whatever, I'm a scratch player, I'm a pretty good player. He's like, okay, here's what you do. And just, so a guy like this who does this all the time, like very specific putting instruction, he's able to look at everybody, and we're able to pick it up really fast. And when you yourself can pick up another guy, say, oh, that he does this, he does that, oh, he takes it outside. Oh my gosh, he's got the yip. Oh, oh yeah, I saw his shoulders open up. You learn faster too. 
and then you get a little bit of instruction and but that's not just the instruction you get you get all the instruction that everybody else got and you're able to internalize that and process it and your putting becomes so much better and then we went to chipping same exact thing we learned a method now some guy well you know one guy was there he's doing his own thing he's like no i can't do it i can't chip with a nine iron blah 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 now I could say the same thing, like, oh, I'm going to use my 60-degree wedge. Like, I know what I'm doing. No, I didn't do that. I go there with the heart to learn. Like, teach me. Like, I'm just going to be teachable here because I don't care what I know. I care about, like, can I learn? And so I went in there, like, I'll do whatever you say, however you say it. I'm just going to do what you tell me. And then I'm doing this chipping method. He comes by. He's like, dude, that's great. You're really good. Like, And I'm like, thanks. And then I'm learning about me and my game. And I felt like I got even better at the chipping process, learned more because I went in there with a teachable heart and I got to see everybody else and watch them learn at the same, uh, you know, space that I got to learn at. And then we're doing full swing and same thing. Guy comes, looks at your swing on videos like, oh, do this. And man, it really helped me. And that can just hit for 10, 15 minutes. But if he's just one on one with me, I'm going to hit like two balls and he's going to talk all the time. I hate that. So. This group style method of lessons is the key. And this is kind of what YouTube, my YouTube channel is based on is I'm going to give you instruction, then you're going to go out and implement it in your own way. You can develop your own swing. That's why I love doing the way um, instruction that I do it because it puts it on you to go hit for a long period of time. You can listen to me or not listen to me, but when it's time for you to do you, you can just do you for a long period of time. And so I was able just to hit, hit, and then the guy comes back and he just looks and he's like, cool, that's right, you know, that's right, or take it here a little bit more. And then he mo he has to move on, right? Because he's got 10 other guys in our little pod at hitting at the time, so he has to move on. So this is the best way. We always want that one-on-one. -on -one. Don't do one-on-one. -on -one. This is what I say. Get like five of your buddies or something. Say, hey, we want to do chipping, hitting, and putting, and we want to work with you for uh, two hours. Okay, and then like our group of five, like one, it's gonna be way cheaper for each person. Two, you're gonna learn more. It's gonna be exponential growth in your learning if you do it that way. Cause you're gonna learn not only for you, you're gonna learn about everybody else, which is gonna help you. So if you're thinking about lessons, don't, don't do one-on-one, -on -one. do group lessons. That's really going to be the way you're going to learn because that's how we do it in every other sport ever since we're like born. That's how it's worked in community, in groups, uh, in your little pods. That's everybody. Everybody's in a pod. That's how the Ryder Cup won. That's how dolphins swim. That's how you should learn golf. All right. So get out there in your little pod of friends. Go get some golf lessons. And that method is going to be the best benefit for your buck.